We've sent rovers to Mars, we've landed spacecraft on its surface, and we've even flown helicopters in its thin atmosphere. But there's one thing we haven't done yet. Bring a piece of Mars back to Earth. That's where the Mars Sample Return Mission comes in. This ambitious endeavor aims to collect rock and soil samples from the Martian surface and bring them back to Earth for analysis. Imagine the secrets these samples hold. We could learn about Mars's geological history, its past climate, and maybe even find evidence of ancient Martian life. Analyzing Martian samples in our state-of-the-art labs on Earth would provide far more detailed information than any rover could ever hope to gather. It's like comparing a magnifying glass to the Hubble Space Telescope. We're talking about a quantum leap in our understanding of the Red Planet. The Mars Sample Return Mission is a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable curiosity to explore the unknown. And who knows what groundbreaking discoveries await us when we finally unlock the secrets held within those Martian rocks. Remember that one small step for man? Well, get ready for a giant leap for humankind. NASA's Artemis program isn't just about returning to the moon, it's about establishing a sustainable presence there. Think of it as building a lunar base camp, a stepping stone for even grander adventures in space. We're talking about astronauts living and working on the moon, conducting scientific research, and testing technologies for future missions to Mars and beyond. Imagine lunar outposts, moon rovers traversing the lunar surface, and telescopes peering deep into the cosmos from the far side of the moon. Artemis is more than just a mission, it's a vision for the future of human spaceflight. It's about inspiring the next generation of explorers, scientists, and engineers. It's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and daring to dream bigger than ever before. So, keep your eyes on the sky because the Artemis missions are set to usher in a new era of space exploration, one that could see humans venturing further into the cosmos than ever before. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is not just a bigger telescope. It's a time machine, peering into the universe's infancy. Imagine seeing the first stars igniting, galaxies forming, the universe transitioning from a dark, hot soup to the structured cosmos we know today. And it's not just about the early universe. JWST can analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars. We're talking about potentially detecting the signatures of life beyond Earth. Is there life out there? JWST could provide the first clues. This is a paradigm shift in astronomy, we're moving from blurry glimpses to high-definition observations. We're going to rewrite textbooks, challenge our assumptions, and maybe, just maybe, discover something so profound it changes our understanding of our place in the cosmos. So, keep your eyes peeled, folks. The James Webb Space Telescope is about to open up a universe of discoveries. Elon Musk and SpaceX are on a mission to make humanity a multiplanetary species. And their target? Mars, the red, dusty, and surprisingly not so hospitable next-door neighbor. Forget weekend trips to the moon, we're talking about building a self-sustaining civilization on another planet. Now, this isn't science fiction anymore. SpaceX is actively developing the Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed for interplanetary travel. They're testing, iterating, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible, with the ultimate goal of sending humans to Mars this century. The challenges are immense. We're talking about radiation shielding, creating a breathable atmosphere, and growing food on a planet where nothing grows. But the potential rewards? Expanding humanity's reach, safeguarding our species from existential threats on Earth, and maybe, just maybe, discovering that we're not alone in the universe. Mars colonization is a monumental undertaking, but if anyone can pull it off, it might just be the folks at SpaceX. Europa, a moon of Jupiter, might be the most exciting place in our solar system to search for life beyond Earth. Why? Because beneath its icy shell lies a vast global ocean that could contain more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. And where there's water, as we've learned on Earth, there's a good chance of finding life. NASA's Europa Clipper mission, set to launch in the next decade, will investigate whether Europa's ocean could support life. Equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, the Clipper will fly by Europa multiple times, mapping its surface, analyzing its thin atmosphere, and even searching for plumes of water vapor erupting from its icy shell. Imagine finding evidence of microbial life, or even more complex organisms, thriving in an alien ocean. It would be a discovery that rewrites our understanding of life in the universe. The Europa Clipper is our best shot yet at finding out if we're alone in this vast cosmic ocean. Friends, we've all gazed up at the moon, a celestial beacon in our night sky. Its silvery glow has been a constant companion, a source of inspiration and wonder. For millennia, it sparked wonder and inspired dreams of reaching out and touching its surface. Ancient civilizations built monuments aligned with its phases. Poets wrote verses about its beauty and scientists pondered its mysteries. Well, while some nations have walked on the moon, 
Others, like China, are setting their sights on even bolder ambitions. The era of lunar exploration is far from over. In fact, it's entering a new and exciting phase. China's space program, once a newcomer on the cosmic stage, has become a force to be reckoned with. With each successful mission, they are proving their capability and determination to explore beyond our planet. They're not just talking about lunar visits. They're planning sustained lunar outposts, research stations that could become stepping stones to a permanent human presence on the moon. These outposts could serve as hubs for scientific research, resource extraction, and even tourism. Imagine a future where the moon isn't just a destination, but a launching pad for further exploration. The implications are staggering. From the moon, missions to Mars and beyond become more feasible, opening up the solar system to human exploration. Imagine scientists conducting long-term studies on lunar geology, unlocking secrets about the early solar system. The moon's surface holds clues to the history of our own planet and the broader cosmos. Imagine telescopes on the far side of the moon, shielded from Earth's radio noise, peering deeper into the universe than ever before. These lunar observatories could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, capturing images and data that are impossible to obtain from Earth. This isn't science fiction, folks. This is the future China is actively building. Their ambitious plans are not just about national pride. They are about pushing the boundaries of human capability and knowledge. And let's not forget the geopolitical implications. Space exploration is not just a scientific endeavor. It's also a strategic one. The nation that leads in space can influence global politics and economics. As China establishes a foothold on the moon, it shifts the balance of power, not just on Earth, but in space itself. This new space race could redefine international relations and spark new collaborations and competitions. It compels us to ask, what does it mean to be a spacefaring nation in the 21st century? How will these advancements shape our future? And what role will other nations play in this new era of exploration? It's a question we all need to ponder as we watch China's lunar ambitions unfold. The future of space exploration is bright and the moon is just the beginning. We've all heard the phrase, it's not rocket science, but when it comes to space, rocket science is just the beginning. The real challenge lies in what comes next. Mining asteroids is a future many are betting on. Extracting resources from these celestial bodies is becoming a tangible goal for space agencies and private companies alike. These cosmic rocks are potential gold mines, literally. Some asteroids contain vast amounts of precious metals, like gold, platinum, and rare earth elements. These elements are crucial for high-tech devices, renewable energy solutions, and medical equipment. The asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter holds untold riches, enough to fuel our technological advancements for centuries. Advanced robotics and spacecraft could extract resources in space, transporting them back to Earth, or using them to build structures in orbit. This could lead to space colonies, self-sustaining habitats relying on resources mined from nearby asteroids, redefining our relationship with the cosmos. So far, we've been talking about government-led missions, but the future of space exploration isn't just about nations vying for cosmic bragging rights. It's about something much more inclusive and exciting. Oh no, my friends, it's about to get a whole lot more accessible. The dream of venturing into space is no longer confined to astronauts and scientists. I'm talking about the burgeoning era of commercial space tourism. This new frontier is opening up opportunities for ordinary people to experience the extraordinary. Companies like Blue Origin, founded by Jeff Bezos, and Virgin Galactic, spearheaded by Richard Branson, are vying to make space tourism a reality for those who, let's just say, have a more flexible understanding of the word budget. These visionaries are investing billions to turn science fiction into science fact. Imagine strapping yourself into a sleek spacecraft, feeling that rumble in your chest as you ascend through the atmosphere, the anticipation building with every second. The Earth shrinking below you until it's just a swirling blue marble against the backdrop of the infinite black void. It's a sight that has inspired countless dreams, and now, it could be within your reach. Now, I know what you're thinking. Neil, isn't space travel reserved for highly trained astronauts? Well, yes and no. While traditional space missions require rigorous training, the new wave of space tourism aims to simplify the experience. These companies are working on making space travel more accessible, offering suborbital flights that give you a taste of weightlessness and breathtaking views of our planet. Imagine floating effortlessly, looking down at the Earth from the edge of space. It's a far cry from a trip to the moon, but hey, it's a start, right? These suborbital flights are just the beginning, a stepping stone to more ambitious journeys. And who knows what the future holds? With rapid advancements in technology and increasing interest, the possibilities are expanding every day. 
As technology advances and costs decrease, perhaps we'll see orbital hotels, lunar vacations, maybe even Martian excursions. Imagine spending a weekend in an orbital hotel or taking a guided tour of the lunar surface. It's an exciting time to be alive, folks, especially if you've always dreamed of experiencing the cosmos firsthand. The stars are no longer out of reach. They're just a ticket away. So keep your eyes on the skies and your dreams boundless. The universe is waiting. We've explored our solar system, sent rovers to Mars, and even dipped our toes into the vast cosmic ocean that is interstellar space. But let's be honest, we've barely scratched the surface. The universe is a vast and mysterious place, and we humans are a curious bunch. That's why the future of space exploration lies in interstellar probe missions. Imagine this. Probes. Smaller and faster than anything we've ever built, hurtling through space at a significant fraction of the speed of light. These probes would be our eyes and ears in the cosmos, venturing beyond our solar system to study nearby star systems, potentially habitable exoplanets, and the interstellar medium itself. Now, interstellar travel presents enormous challenges. We're talking about distances so vast that it would take conventional spacecraft thousands of years to reach even the closest stars. But scientists are exploring revolutionary propulsion systems, like solar sails, propelled by lasers or even antimatter engines, technologies that sound like they're straight out of science fiction. These missions are not for the faint of heart, nor for those seeking immediate gratification. They're generational endeavors, requiring long-term commitment and investment. But the potential payoff is immense. A deeper understanding of our place in the universe, the possibility of discovering extraterrestrial life, and perhaps even the key to humanity's long-term survival. And if you thought this was crazy, check out the 10 most mysterious objects in the universe.